Hey, what's up guys, Too Tall Toby here, and today I'm gonna show you how in just three features, you can go from this, to this, to this, to this, in a multi-body part. Ow! Now before we get started with today's video, I just want to make a, a quick announcement, kind of an exciting announcement. We have officially monetized the channel. And part of what came with that is the ability to receive tips. So if you look in the lower right corner of YouTube, you'll see there's a button that says thanks. And what that lets you do is use a credit card to send me a couple of bucks. Uh, kind of the same way you might tip a waiter or tip the person who's pumping your gas. Uh, you can send me a couple of bucks and you can say, hey man, great job with these videos. Uh, I really appreciate the content. I really wanna see the channel be successful. All right, with that being said, let's get into today's tip. A tip for a tip. <laughs> so what we're talking about today is the linear pattern command and we're talking about at the very bottom of the linear pattern command, the ability to use instances to vary. So let's take a look at how this works. We're gonna click direction one and we'll choose this edge here. We're gonna specify a spacing of uh, 40 millimeters and a number of instances here of four. And then for our feature to pattern, we will pick the face of this cut extrude. So we can see in the preview what that is going to look like. And then we can come down to the bottom here and we can choose instances to vary. When I hit the check mark for instances to vary, what I can do is choose a sketch dimension or a feature dimension to show up in this box here. So for this example, I'm gonna use the diameter of the hole, 10 millimeters. Now, once I click that, you can see here that that dimension 10 millimeters shows up in this box. And what I can also now do is click on the little magenta dot here next to any of the instances of the pattern and I can choose modify instance. And I can say that instead of that being 10 millimeters in this instance, I want it to be 25 millimeters. And I'll do the same thing here, modify instance. And for this instance, I want it to be 15 millimeters. And so we can see when we hit the green check mark, the pattern has been completed. But instead of it just being a straight linear pattern, I'm actually able to modify either the spacing between the instances or any of the sketch dimensions that I created when I created the sketch for that original feature. Another pretty cool thing that we can do with the instances to vary functionality is to create an incremental increase or decrease in the size of the original feature. And what I mean by that is I can come down here to the bottom and choose instances to vary, and then I can choose this 10 millimeter diameter once again. But now here under increment, I could say three millimeters. And what that means is that each instance of the pattern is gonna increase that dimension by three millimeters. So in other words, that hole will be continuously growing. Now we can use that functionality to establish a linear pattern that also rotates the instances of the feature in a part file. And here's what that might look like. We would start out with a sketch of this bottom step, but instead of making this line horizontal, we're gonna establish its location with a dimension. And that way we can use that dimension in our instances to vary. So in other words, instead of clicking on this line and say make, make it horizontal, we're gonna choose smart dimension and create a smart dimension that goes from this vertical line to this horizontal line with an angle dimension of 90 degrees. Now we can begin a linear pattern command we can say that we want the pattern to go along the axis of this central rod. We want the spacing between the instances to be seven inches, and we want there to be a total of 14 stairs. And then we can come down to the bottom here, choose our features to pattern, the step itself, and then choose instances to vary down at the very bottom. Now, what dimension are we gonna change for each instance of the pattern? We're gonna change this 90 degree angle dimension and what do we want it to change by? We want it to change by say 27 degrees. And so we hit the green check mark. Now we can see that we were able to create a linear pattern where the feature was both spaced linearly and also rotated in one single linear pattern command. Pretty cool stuff, right? So I hope you enjoyed that power move. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to share this video with somebody else. Maybe give me a little tip down at the bottom. Now that's an option as well. 
And uh, of course, if you enjoyed seeing this video about patterns, be sure to check out this video as well, where I show you some other cool tips and tricks dealing with patterns. And I will see everyone in the next video. Bye-bye.